Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. We are here in Felrune, and uh, doing a little bit of an experiment today. As you can see, we have three combines before us. We've got the little Bison, the smallest of the selections. We have the New Holland TX32, sort of a mid-size. And then we've got, of course, the big CR1090. Yes, indeed. And what we're going to do today is, uh, well, it has come to my attention that there is uh, some things that may be just a little less than perfect going on with our favorite game. So, let's start by taking this guy and observing its progress up this rather steep hill. Okay, so, let's uh, turn the baby on. Okay. Alright, and full throttle. There we go, we get a start. Uh huh. Now you may notice something a little unusual here. There we go. It takes a little while, but you'll see it does eventually start to spit out a little bit. Now you may not even notice it's doing anything, unless you get into exactly the right angle. All right. Now although this makes it up the hill, you'll notice if I stop on the hill, she is struggling. She'll start to roll back a little bit as soon as I hit throttle actually release the brake that it has. There we go. This is the shallowest part of the cornfield. Okay, there we are. And it's done spinning. Okay. And again, <laughs> trying to go forward is not always so easy. So let's leave you off to the side. We will come back to this guy in a moment. So, functions well enough. Does spit corn out the back end. And, well, as might be expected, probably its only issue is it's a little underpowered. But we expect that. It is the smallest harvester in the group. So let's move to this guy, the TX32. Now... I'm using this guy because it was mentioned to me that perhaps this one is not so keen to spit out the corn. So let's have a look. Nice piece of kit. First time I've looked at it in this game, actually. Again, uh, don't judge any of the visual stuff. I've got things turned down to the point of almost comic strip, so... Alright, now let's see here. Let's unfold the harvester. Ooh, very quaint. Alrighty, let's uh, turn her on. Now, it says, uh, okay, so we should be spitting out anything we should be spitting out. Up the hill we go. And we'll notice, hmm, the TX-32. Yes. Look, where is it storing all the chewed up bits of corn? Well, apparently, it's not. And we'll notice, get back to the outside, it's actually spitting it out the bottom of the header. Okay, as opposed to, well, <laughs> where it's supposed to come out behind the harvester. So we are still getting the corn laid out on the ground. Now again, because of my uh, graphics capabilities, it's maybe not as clear that that's what we're getting, but it is. So there we go. Hmm. Eh, no problem with this one rolling back. It seems to have enough power to actually hold up. So. 
But again, this is the shallow side of the field. You don't have access to this land. Hmm, really? Here, let's turn it off. It'll be a little bit easier to putter about. Okay. Let's go to the real monster. Yes, indeed. The Great Big 1090. Now, this thing should be able to power its way straight up the side of a mountain. This is how many hundreds of horsepower? It's, she's a heavy machine, but still. You reach a certain point where if you got enough ponies under the hood, there isn't much you shouldn't be able to do. Alright, let's unfold the header. Lovely. I suppose I should get off the road before the traffic shows up. There we are. Let's uh, go by this guy. Let's unfold the harvester. And let's turn her on. Ooh. That seems to uh, hit the ground pretty hard. Now this is the proper corn header. Here we go. Alright. Now, as you can see, it makes quite the fuss about spinning stuff out the back. It even includes dust. Hmm. Well, it is also spitting bits out under the header. You'll notice if I stop, I can immediately go. There's no delay, there's no, watch, full. Yeah, and she just goes. So, this one seems to function fairly well. It seems to do everything about right. In fact, this, I think, is the only one that has an actual proper display of what it's spitting out. Hmm. All right. With that said, let's ramp it up a bit. Brakes? Oh, look at that. They not only work, but I can back up the hill. Remember that. <laughs> Alright, let's really get down to the nasty, shall we? This is a hill. Whoops. Okay. Let's get her started up. And nothing. Ah, okay. <laughs> hmm. Come on. There we go. There's a, I guess, just the way that particular little dip there. I don't think it's a fault of the harvester. I think it just sort of straddles it. All right. Now, here we go. Good. And there's our action from the back. All right. Let's take off the throttle. Give her gas. Seems to go just fine. Now this is, as I said, this is a really steep hill. And we'll see the difference here in a minute. But the big guy doesn't have any trouble handling it at all. Alright. Might as well take the last row. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to our little guy. Okay, let's hit the brakes. Nice. All right, seems to work well enough. Word of warning, though, if this thing's almost full, it doesn't like to stop. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we do on the super steep grade with this guy. No 
Okay. Definitely got a hill hold type of break going on. And full throttle forward. And... She can do her. Nope. We don't have enough power to get up this hill. Not while we're running our header. Take as good a run at it as we can. Here's full throttle. Up the hill we go, and... Nope. Hmm. So, there you go. Shut her off, back her out of the way. Okay. Let's try this guy. We're going down the hill. Give her some brakes. Huh? And immediately reverses, immediately forward. Good. Now, let's try something else. Just before we move on, let's go back to the top. And we're going to turn the machine on, go down the hill and try the brakes. Now, as far as I know, the brakes aren't hooked up to the header in any way, so this shouldn't make a difference. With that little bezel, oh boy, does it. <laughs> so let's see how we do here. Let's turn her on. Alright. Let's start her down the hill. Obviously, we don't get as much speed up. Definitely takes a little longer to break, but not too bad. As I said, on the B-Zone, there's quite the difference. Okay, let's try the steeper part here. And let's hit the brakes. Uh, take a little longer, but still, not bad. Not bad. Sort of the unexpected behavior, let's say. There's nothing unusual going on there. Alright, let's see if you can manage, from a dead stop, the super hill. Here we go. And full throttle, and away we go. Hmm, very nice. But, again, apparently the back end of this thing is some fiercely broken because nothing's coming out. We are getting a little bit of uh, stuff out of the header, just as the other ones do. But yeah, as far as... Let's try stopping, full throttle. So yeah, it'll pick it up just about anywhere on the hill. But... That's definitely broken, as you can see. Um, you know, you can see that the device is working. You can see the, the little tines in there. So it should be doing its thing. It just simply doesn't. Okay. And there's that guy. here for breaking. Now we'll turn her back on. And get her going full wellies. And brakes. No problem at all. Alrighty. Let's really get some speed up now. And brakes downhill. Just fine. Okay. So this one has enough horsepower to tackle the hills, but unfortunately whatever it is that's supposed to uh, blow straw out the butt doesn't work. Hmm, that is rather interesting. Alright, let's grab the last of our monsters here. And 
brakes. Ooh, it takes a little bit, but whoa, you can actually see the back tires were spinning there for a moment. <laughs> and turned on. And no problem at all. All right. So there you go, as long as you have all the power to actually drive to your wheels. It's a little bit slip, but she will make her up the hill. Now I'm going to start to accelerate time to have a look at something else that my friend Driz happened to uh, notice. Now, let's see how this guy does when it comes to Let's light her up. Oops, I don't need to be in the corn. There we go. So it doesn't produce dust, eh? Hmm. It just throws chunks of corn. It produces dust off the front header, but very little from the back. But as you can see, it is producing it. And brakes. Yeah, that's full brakes. So, it does have a little bit more issue with uh, trying to come to a stop. But again, I suppose that one would expect that. Yeah, it's just rolling and rolling and rolling. I've had full brakes on all the way. You can see the reverse lights flickering. Okay. Well, let's try the same thing without it running. Again, I don't believe that having the header running would have any effect on your brakes, but let's get her going forward and full brakes. Hmm. There we go. So yeah, there's a little bit tougher to get this thing to stop and go, but again, being an underpowered machine, I suppose we should expect that. Now the question is, are we having these bits in the back so far as what it will or will not put out because they have a different type of, you know, diffuser on them? Right? This guy spits out chunks of husk, but absolutely dust-free. This guy spits out nothing. <laughs> and this one, well, this one does the whole full banana. We get dust, we get chunks of corn, you know, we get all those little ground-up squirrels, you name it. Whatever's in that field, all them crows, they all come out the back of this puppy. So, again, a little bit of the inconsistency. Let's, uh, let's grab ourselves a little piece of kit here, shall we? <clears throat> Excuse me. And we are going to go to the tractors. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Uh, it doesn't matter in this case. I'm not going to be using these to haul anything. In fact, they are merely a candle in the night. I like the little Hurleyman, but I'm a fan of the Dutes, of course. So we can go different tires, different this, different that, but... In this case, all I really need from this tractor is for it to have headlights. Ooh, so this is a little beats. Oh, what a handsome little tractor, aren't you? Give you a little wiggly with the wheels. Very nice. Oops. Very nice indeed. I like this, actually. This is cool. What a sweet tractor, man. Wow. 
You get more kit hanging off the back of it, I tell you. Very nice. A nice little tractor. Boy, oh boy. Alright, anyway. Let us head back. It is now 6.20 in the evening. So hopefully, shouldn't be much longer, and we will get what it is I need. Which in this case is darkness. And dopey old species is going the wrong way out of the parking lot. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. I can get lost in a parking lot. Ba boom. All right. Now oh, let's go the right way. It is a lovely pond. Ah, this is what we're waiting for. Yes, indeed, it is getting darkening. So. Hmm. Seems to get dark in rather abrupt stages. Now, granted, I do have the time sped up. Okay. I think we can de speedify the time. Let's go back to the X5. Alright. Now. Get this guy lit up. Let's get this guy lit up. All right, that should do. Oh, and the lights go off. Okay, hang on a sec here. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do. Get out of there. All right, now. Uh, what are we looking for? This. Yes, we don't want that. Boom. There we go. Alright. Now, hopefully the lights will stay on when I get out of the tractor. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. And step out. Thank you. Alright. Now, here we are. And you'll notice we can... Now, ah, this one's got terrible mirrors for it. But you'll notice we can see in the back. There's the tractor. Okay. Watch for it in my mirror. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Now, the lights do cause glare. but perhaps not quite at the degree you would expect. Oh, hang on, let me... Uh... Oh, wrong one. There we go. Alrighty. Let's have a look at this guy. Jump in. And... Where's our little tractor? Um, oh. What the heck, the lights went out. Why did it do that? Oh, the lights did not go out. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Yet yeah, you will notice there are no lights on that tractor. Right? I mean, you couldn't make it more obvious than that's what's in the mirror. But there are no lights on. At all. Hmm. The plot sickens. Alright, let's shut this puppy off. Jump out. And let's try this guy. Let's jump in. Start her up. And let's see if we can find our buddy, the tractor. Seems easier to find than this one, doesn't it?
Okay. So this one is pretty much exactly the same as the bezel. Or bison, I guess, if you want to call it that. But there is obviously an issue going on here. Alright. Now, let's try something else. Let's see if I can find... Just jump out here for a moment. So, you know, I mean, we should quite clearly be in the band of those headlights, right? But what I want to do here is see if we can find a position where we might be able to see the street lights. Yeah, it's just not going to... Uh, unfortunately, the angle of the mirrors is not going to allow us to see it with the combine. But there you go. Now, I mean, you can obviously see the streetlight making a difference in the windshield. Oops. But if... There we go. And you'll also notice the reflection comes across in the mirrors. So, that seems to be pretty much what one expects out of these sort of a machine, after all. So, that one seems pretty good. Now, I mean, it may not be quite, you know, you don't get that blinding glare type of thing when you see the lights, but, well, oops. That also may just be that, uh, you know, you've got a tinted mirror, or it's got the same thing that a lot of, uh, vehicles have with you know where you can flip your rear view up and you suddenly don't have the glare of the lights you can still see the headlights in fact it looks very much like this all right now you can see we've pulled into this light zone hmm nothing on that one let's see i'm waiting for that flash across across the mirrors like we got with the uh the New Holland. Not really, eh? Okay, we're in the thing, so everything else is a little lighter. But, yeah, at no point do we actually get that change that we just saw in the other one. So, there is definitely an issue with the mirrors on this guy. Alright, shut you off. Let's go to our other one. And let's do the same. What the heck is... Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that in the middle of the road? I think it's one of the street signs I knocked over. All right, let's see if we notice a change in these mirrors. Hmm, not really. Now, mind you, these are really low. So... Yeah, really no change in the, uh, the brightness of the mirrors. Whereas you definitely should from there. Hmm. And what about this guy? Well, let's turn his lights off and see how he responds. Actually...
Oh, okay, it seems to only have the one, but that's fine. So I'm not trying to... Uh, okay, you can see... Uh, you can definitely see the lights in this one. You can notice the glare across the windshield. Now we should get that same glare across the mirrors, but we don't. So, what I mean by the same token, they are working, I think. You know, and that may well be dimmed out on purpose. I don't know that it is. I think it's just sort of a bit of a flaw in the lighting engine. But that uh, TX32 definitely is not not showing lighting the way it should. Now, are we going to get a... These lights are nice and... Oh, look, you can actually see... The street light. Right there. Oh, man, it's hard to get it in. There we go. So you can see the street light. You can see the light. You don't actually see... You know, it's on the ground, though. It doesn't show a lit up area. So there's definitely issues with the... Uh, okay, that one got the glare off the light. So... I think the the uh, bezel, the mirrors, are just a little bit low to pick up that glare. But you'll notice none of them pick up the lighting on the ground. So there's... You know... Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't do all of this just to show that Giants has made a big screw-up and doesn't know how to launch a game. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with the launch. There are teething pains, but then again, we're dealing with 300 pieces of equipment. Um, yeah, even testing like this, you know, I don't think goes on for every single piece of equipment. You know, did they really check that, you know, the lights are reflective on each piece, etc., etc.? I have my doubts. <laughs> and I think doing this kind of shows those doubts uh, are rather correct. So, kind of bright out here, isn't it? Wow. Considering the time of day, it's really rather bright. Hmm. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to have a look. Um, so, uh, yeah, Driss, you were absolutely right, my friend. Um... This has nothing coming out. Now, I don't know if the same applies for grain crops. Um, hmm. You know, I think we're going to have to... Uh, I think we're going to have to put that to the test, sir. So, let's go grab ourselves a grain header. I know this episode's running a little long, but hey, it is all for the sake of experimentation and progress. So, let's roar on out here and see how we do. I guess I can speed this back up so we can get to morning. <coughs> It was kind of expensive buying all this kit. <laughs> I started with a million and a half. We're down to 396. But that's alright. That will buy me uh, a grain header and the piece of property next to where we live. Which, conveniently enough, has ripe grain. So. Oh, that was quite a bit of glare, eh? Unfortunately, it was in the windshield. And we know the lighting works the rest of the way around. So. Let's... Over here. There we go. And boom chakalaka. There we go. Alright, let's uh let's buy a normal header, shall we? <coughs> For the new Holland TX32 header. Let's grab you. Let's buy you. Yes. Okay. And here we go. Not going to worry about selling this one. This is strictly a, an experimental map to do testing. So, 
Loan interest? Yikes, $2,800. <laughs> Woohoo! Buy your kit while you can, man. Where the bank comes and takes all your money. Alrighty, there we go. Whoa, let's uh, jump out of cab for a moment, shall we? What? I missed that sign? There we go. By guppies. Standing there while everybody else is laying around? I don't think so. Okay, so hopefully 361k will buy me the field. <laughs> We're gonna be in a wee bit of trouble. Well, actually, what do we got here? Oh, no, that's like potatoes or something. Yeah, okay. Not what we'd be wanting. But, I'm pretty sure the field we bought... Oh, hang on. Let's have a look here. Okay, I don't actually see the... Uh... Yeah, I know you're there, man. I'm trying to find you in my mirrors. Oh, there you are. Huh. Well, the car headlights certainly seem to show up all right, don't they? Obviously not the same blinding. Get the heck out from behind me, dude. Wow, you just don't let up, do you? Yeah. Interesting. The car headlights certainly showed up just fine. Huh. Alright. Uh, that's not what I want, but this could be. Alright, let's see. Let us see, shall we? Uh, let's go to lands. And it would be, I believe, field 27. 204,000. Okay, we can afford it. Barely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, let's buy it. Yes. Okay. So he now owns a wheat field. Excellent. We can't see it in the dark, but we do own it. What the, uh, what the heck, man? Okay, that's, uh, that's not right. How is it this field is empty? On my other map, this is a full wheat field. What the heck? Corn. What? Corn? Since when? <coughs> Slowing time down here. Huh. Well, that's rather unusual. Well, it looks like the corn on the hill has wilted. Oh. Maybe because it's the next day the crop's been removed. Well, that sucks. Um. Hmm. Where do we have some ripe grain? Looks like the next one over, right? I doubt we'll be able to afford it anymore. And that doesn't look like it's functional either. Hmm. Oh, it might be. It's just really weedy, eh? Yeah, it's ready to harvest. It's barley, so good. We just need to uh, get the field. Alright, let's see. So, let's go to land types. Can I sell this? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. And let's go to this guy and buy that. Alright, there we go. So. What? 
I just bought this, didn't I? What? Um. Oh, God. <laughs> Oopsie. That's not where I am. Yes. I need this guy. Ooh, 403k. Dang. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, I had no idea that they've, uh... Oh, actually. Let's, uh, just simply... Let us simply... Sell things. Let's go to the garage. Alright, we can sell... The Deutz. Yes. Okay. We can sell that guy. Okay. Now... We should have enough to be able to buy that. Okay, now. <coughs> Excuse me. This guy here, we will buy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now. We are going to start by not having the straw swath enabled. So let's turn this on. Let's see what comes out the back, shall we? Come on, baby. We need some forward motion. It's owned by me, it's barley, it's ready to harvest. Oh, 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 entirely my fault. Oops. These have uh, corn in them. <laughs> oh, I need to uh, be able to get rid of that corn. So, I think we need a silo. <laughs> oh, hey, it's never easy, is it? Um, or a trailer. Yeah, I guess we need a trailer, don't we? Nah. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's get... Uh, cheapest tractor? And... Let's get ourselves a cheap little trailer. There's just... Too much stuff lumped into these now. It makes it really difficult to find stuff. I think they should have broken this down a little more. Um, where is just straight freaking tippers? Trailers. There we go. And we'll buy the cheapest trailer. We'll make it 8,000 just in case. There we go. Alright. So, I like this sort of beard. She's a cool tractor. Alright. Alright, let's go. So there's definitely, uh, you know, some teething pains with the game. Um, you know, there's no doubt of that at all. 
but it's nice to find out what they are and where they are. You know, we can either uh, avoid things until such time as they become fixed, or, you know, at least be aware that if you're going to do something, like don't be buying the one harvester if you really got steep ground, etc. You know, and that there's lighting issues that do need to be dealt with and these sort of things. Although, I don't know that... Oh, 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 quit going backwards, please. Let's get that pipe out and get this thing emptied. I don't know that they'll be game-breaking, the lighting issues, but... They're definitely something that needs addressed. And I'm sure that Giants is working hard on getting a, a patch ready to address things. There we go. Let's uh, suck you back in. Let's go harvest. Oop. All right, there we go. And come on. There we go. Now we're cutting. And right about here. All right. So, although it doesn't seem to uh, have any sort of a go for corn, she definitely does all right with grains. All right. Let's uh, enable the straw swath. Okay. And see how she reacts. And begin. There we go. So it's definitely only a corn thing. <laughs> now I imagine the big new Holland works fine on this as well. And I have tried the Bison. It has no issues putting out uh, straw. I haven't actually tried it with uh, the straw disabled. But there you go. So there's only sort of half an issue, I guess, with this guy. You know, it won't show anything coming out of its corn, but it seems to be fine with the cereals. So there you are, guys. I just wanted to, uh, you know, check a few things out. And, uh, yeah, it's really weird that this is corn. Now, I wonder... Because on my map, the one that I'm actually playing along with you guys, this horrible looking thing here is sugar beets, and it still is. It's withered. Wow. So within one day, this went to a weed infested, withered mess. Incredible. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed our little experiment. And, uh, if you come across anything else that's a little bit odd or you would like tested, checked, looked at, etc., please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to accommodate. But there you are. Till the next time, guys. This has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 19 doing a harvester test. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.